with another justinpressure.ca use ride buyer's guide where today I want to take a look at the 2009 to 2015 Audi Q5. Now a couple of reasons that you might want to buy one of these. Owners typically say that they're good on fuel, they perform well, they get a confident all-weather, all-season driving experience thanks to that quattro all-wheel drive and they're very flexible and fairly roomy as well. So two notes on the Q5 before we get into it. First, selection is huge. Two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder gasoline, three-liter six-cylinder supercharged gasoline, or three-liter turbo diesel engines were available, and that quattro all-wheel drive system for invisible decision-free traction. And further, with no shortage of options, packages, and premium feature content, there should be no issue finding a used Q5 with the exact set of high-end features that you like. So lots to like about this machine, and there should be plenty of selection in the used vehicle marketplace as well. So with that, let's kick it over to your test drive to-do list, which is full of handy tips and advice to help you shop smarter for a first-class copy of a second-hand Audi Q5. starting with number one which is to check all of the electronics on board you're going to want to confirm proper operation of anything inside that q5 that runs on electricity especially the mmi interface controller the climate control the air conditioner and the cruise control systems number two check out that sunroof open and close it several times over the course of your test drive and be on the lookout for any unwanted sounds or sensations as that glass panel is moving back and forth. Note that any grinding or binding sound or sensation from that sunroof typically means a problem with the tracks or the motors and while you're at it keep in mind that damp front footwell carpeting typically indicates a leaky sunroof drain tube. Number three relates to the auto stop system which is equipped on some Q5 models and that's the system that shuts the engine off while you're stopped when it would otherwise be idling. So if the Q5 that you're considering has auto stop, you're going to want to make sure that you get it to engage several times over the course of your test drive by coming to a complete stop. And keep in mind that any issues restarting the engine or any warning lights in the instrument cluster or size of that vehicle needs to be investigated further by a mechanic. Number four, the transmission. Now pay attention to how the Q5 shifts gears while you're test driving it. Keeping in mind that any hard shifting, clumsy shifting, or slippage from that transmission is a sign to investigate further with the help of an Audi technician. Now typically, issues with the transmission on this vehicle are going to be software related and not mechanical in nature, but you're going to want to have a mechanic check that out for you just to be safe. Number five, a note regarding the 2.0T engine, that is the two liter turbocharged four cylinder gasoline engine, keeping in mind that this engine has some well-documented issues with valve gunk buildup and timing chain tensioners. So have an Audi tech check that over after explaining your concerns or choose another engine option. Number six, speaking of other engine options, there's the 3.0T, that is the three liter V6 supercharged gasoline engine option. And now that engine looks fairly solid, but you're going to want to have a dealer mechanic inspect it for signs of premature water pump failure and coolant leaks for maximum peace of mind. Number seven, a TDI 3 liter turbo diesel V6 engine. If you're considering one of those, which you should because it's fantastic, but you're going to want to have a mechanic inspect the fuel delivery system, the cooling system, and all engine sensors for signs of trouble before your purchase. Number eight, a note on modified software. You want to confirm the Q5 that you're considering has never run non-factory engine management software designed to boost the engine's performance because this could void your warranty or even cause engine damage. And also keep in mind that if the seller of the Q5 you're considering had previously run non-factory engine management software to boost performance with a, a chip or a tune and then put it back to stock before selling it, it could still have a black flag warranty or avoided warranty without you or maybe even the seller even knowing about it. So your best course of action if you have any suspicions about that before you purchase the vehicle is to have the service department at the Audi dealer closest to you run the VIN number on that vehicle through their system to make sure there are no issues with any remaining warranty. And finally, number nine, fluid changes, which are absolutely vital to the longevity and durability of numerous components within the Q5 
including the engine, the transmission, the all-wheel drive system, and the turbocharger. So make sure that all fluid changes are absolutely up to date. And if you're unclear on the service history of the model that you're considering, or the seller can't prove that the fluid changes are up to date, you're going to want to budget a couple of hundred extra bucks to have them all changed for maximum peace of mind. Thank you.